Hey, my dear friends, uh, I hope that you are having a great weekend. Mine is pretty good so far. I want to show you something amazing. This is the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. Check this out. This is the AMS or Automatic Material System. It's now retracting the orange PLA and it is going to feed the white PLA in a second there we go and then inside the printer it will purge the material in the back over there I think that you are able to see it on the right side over there is a little purge block to clean the nozzle too and what it is purging over there is actually throwing out from the back of the printer i will show you that in a second but the quality is pretty amazing i mean this thing is printing the outer walls at 200 millimeters per second uh, the inner walls at 300 and the infill at 400 or 500 millimeters per second even and uh, I believe it is using 10,000 millimeters per second acceleration at the moment it has a lightweight rail for the uh, carbon fiber rail for the x-axis and also a lightweight extruder and hot end setup so it can move really fast there we go it's now cleaning the nozzle and then it will start to print again there we go I mean, I'm not, this was the white, that it, now it's going to purge again, it's going to change to orange again. Anyway, this was the purging process. I will now show you the back of the machine. Here, it's throwing out these bits of uh, material. So, yeah, you have some waste, but that's what you have when you print multicolor prints. Also, these spools have a chip in it, so it will automatically know what material is uh, printing. And, yeah, that's only with the Bamboo Lab spools. You can use any material of your choice. Uh, however, you have to calibrate it uh, before printing. But yeah, that's what you have to do. Which is actually quite a cool process with the micro lidar. So uh, it's it's so much fun to watch, guys. It's 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 criminal actually. So uh, I'm printing a dual color model. This is a uh, film sticking fixture for when you need to replace the sheet on the bed. The bed is really good. It uh, sticks so well. Um, it comes with a glue stick actually to help you save the uh, top layer of your built plate. Um, another thing is that it's now printing on the cold side of the build plate which is perfect for PLA, PTG and materials like that the other side of the build plate is the engineering side which is great for uh, PA and PC and carbon filled PA and stuff like that or glass fiber filled materials which I'm going to use after this print but yeah, so far it's uh, it's insanely cool. It also uh, has anti-vibration technology, uh, which helps to reduce ringing and stuff like that on your prints with those high speeds. 
Uh, when you close the door, it's super quiet. This is pretty cool uh, from the menu. Uh, I already showed you that, but also when you load the model, the author of the model is actually shown on the right side. Here you can control your printer and this is super cool. Let me show you the speed. You can put it to silent for when you uh, want to go to bed. It has a standard profile which is running now. You can also set it to sport which is already insanely fast and you have a ludicrous setting. I don't want to try that at the moment because uh, yeah, the firmware obviously is not dialed in perfectly, so let's wait with that for a bit. Uh, here you can see the automatic filament system. It's now pushing the white PLA into the extruder, which is pretty cool. So here you can see which materials are loaded. And here you can calibrate the printer after you moved it or something or placed it in a new spot, same as moving Bart. Uh, this is the model library that was in the printer when I got it. And you can also insert an SD card. Um, yeah, but it's not in there at the moment, so there's nothing on there. This is my account settings and my network settings. So there we have it, Wi-Fi, uh, the connection is working great, uh, both with the Windows app and the Android app. Uh, however, on the Android app, I can't make my cam work. And these are some self-test things that you can do. So uh, that's it, guys. A quick uh, seven-minute uh, tour of the printer. Uh, mine came with uh, four spools of material, two PLAs, a bamboo lab, PA carbon fiber, so carbon fiber nylon, and I believe that this is uh, for supports, so uh, a soluble material. Oh, another thing, uh, in the back over there on the right side, there's actually a filter, so uh, yeah, it also filters particles. It's it's yeah, it's everything uh, you need really from a, a 3D printer. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna try a lot of things on this machine, and probably when this thing is released, I will buy three more of these babies because you can actually print 16 different colors on this machine. So that's pretty amazing, right? Have a nice weekend. Um, I will talk to you guys soon and keep you updated. Ciao.